it is a beautiful day at Epcot today and we are going to go around the world showcase checking out the countries, checking out the food and wine. Starting at Mexico. Yeah, we'll see how many steps it is. We'll keep you posted. The starting step count is 7,607. So I'll let you know what it is when we get around the whole thing. First country here is Mexico. There is a quick service and two table service restaurants, one of which is inside the pyramid and there's also a margarita bar. And Mexico kind of is themed to Coco now, which is good because that was an excellent movie. There's Miguel with all the ancestors paintings up. Absolutely gorgeous inside of the Mexico pavilion. We're going to go on the Grand Fiesta Tour boat ride. <laughs> Here is the Mexico restaurant. It's very busy, probably because it's so pretty. Just got off the Mexico boat ride. I'm actually really surprised that they haven't free themed it to Coco yet. It could so easily be changed really, really quickly, just like the Maelstrom changed to Frozen. So I think it's going to happen. It's inevitable, really. This is the main area of Norway. You see to your right there is the Princess Dining. There's a long line for that. And Frozen Ever After is right at the end. See how crazy the wait time is. 45 minutes, that's actually not too bad. Next up is China, which has a restaurant, quick service, a tea place, and a movie. It's not really that exciting, so I'd probably skip the movie. Don't worry about going to it. It is very pretty in China. Here we are in Germany. I really like Germany. They've got a really good buffet at the garden restaurant, and they also have a Caramel Werther's shop. Yeah, but sometimes you can get free samples, so we're gonna go and see. Beautiful Werther's stuff. Over there is the buffet restaurant, and here is the rest of Germany. We were unable to get a caramel sample, and we could not even get in the door. The it was so was busy. Packed. I've never seen it that bad. Here we are in Italy. They've got really, really good food in Italy. I've had it a couple of times. Here is the interior of Italy. Just fountain over there and then we've got one restaurant to the left and then you've got another restaurant at the end I would highly recommend that one because it's really good this is the view from the other side of the world showcase gorgeous view here we are in America because we haven't been there before ever America is a bit meh to me there's not a lot going on we are now in Japan they have a really, really, really good gift shop in Japan where you can pick a pearl from an oyster and then put it on jewelry. They have a lot of Mario stuff here. Look at all the Yoshis. Got those annoying shells in Mario Kart. This is the big pearl thing. Now up those stairs are where the two restaurants are. I've been to Teppanetto. It's really, really good there. It's like some sort of teppanyaki restaurant where they cook the food in front of you. Here is also a beautiful photo opportunity. You've got the J Japanese, I don't even know what it's called, but it looks very Japanese with the Epcot ball in the background. We just arrived in Morocco and I've decided what I'm going to eat. I'm going to get the spicy hummus fries. Okay, so I just got the spicy hummus fries and I decided to get the sauce on the side just in case I don't like it. Okay, just got a bit of hummus fries now. I'm dipping it in the orange sauce. I'm not sure what type it is. We'll soon find out. Really great. It's like deep fried hummus. Mum is having the hummus fries now. What's your verdict? Good, bad, average, still chewing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the hummus fries are nice. I love this cucumbery salad. Mm. That sauce is very hot. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit before and it was like... Here is the rest of Morocco. Spice Road table I've been to, it's very nice. Here is the main restaurant. I've been there, really, really good. I love the lobster bisque. At the back, you can see the Eiffel Tower. And I think around that way to the right is where the Ratatouille ride will be. 
Just past France is where the boats and the Skyliner is that will connect you to Hollywood Studios. There you go, you can see the Skyliner right there. Just an update, we are exiting Epcot right now to quickly head to Hollywood Studios to do a few things while we can, while we're near the Skyliner. But I thought I would let you know that we're already past 3,000 steps around the World Showcase and we're not even done yet. So it's really good for a workout. Just arrived at Hollywood Studios and I got this pin as I entered. It's Roz Always Watching and it comes in this little Christmas tree decoration pack. And that's the pin inside. How unique is that? We've decided to get a Starbucks at Hollywood Studios because we are thirsty and there is no Starbucks anymore at Epcot. We've got a chocolate chestnut pine cone. It looks delicious. And that is a gingerbread cupcake, not a regular one. Starbucks has been acquired and we're ready to wait in a line now. Pro tip, it's very helpful to have Starbucks when you're in a line outside. Just finished riding Slinky Dog, probably mum's last time for this trip. How do you feel, Sam? Well, I was at the front this time and it's a bit of a cliffhanger. You get up there and you don't know whether you're actually going to make it. You get terrified every time. It's the same ride. <laughs> Where you're right, the experience is different all oh. the time. <laughs> See over here, we've got Woody meeting with Bo Peep without Buzz. Look how sad he looks by himself. I know he's smiling, but deep down, he's devastated. We are heading out of Hollywood Studios now after we did our one ride, which took a while, but we got there and we're heading back to Epcot to walk around the rest of World Showcase via Skyliner. So we are back at Epcot and it is night time after our trip to ride Slinky Dog. It's dinner time! It's dinner time! So mum is going to get some fish and chips and I'm going to share that with her. So it'll be really great. Here we are at the UK and more importantly here we are at the fish and chip stand. I'm just chilling in the sitting area in the fish and chip shop. This is also a really great place to go for the fireworks if you can. And this is the view you can witness while eating your fish and chips. Mum just acquired our fish and chips and comes with two pieces of fish and some very attractive looking chips. Yum! How are the chips going? You're interrupting me while I'm having chips? <laughs> Are you going to share them with me or not? Oh, no, you just want one piece of fish. <laughs> okay, now I'm having my fish without lemon, which is very weird for me because I always have fish with lemon, but we'll see how it's like. Mmm, still delicious. This fish was so good the last time we came here. It does not disappoint. Okay, mum is having hers with tartar sauce, which is available. Yep. Um, how is it? It's not fishy, which is not. <laughs> I know it's fish, but it's not fishy. Now that I've had more of the fish, the batter is very thick and greasy and it's very salty. Like I only had like about a third of the fish and I'm already needing like three glasses of water. Over there is where the new Mary Poppins area is going to be. The frozen crowd is hopping. It's really hard to get a reservation here. Moving into our final country, Canada, home of steak. Here is La Celia, a very good restaurant for steak. Here at Canada, ready to have some steak. Because the fish was a fail, we are opting to have steak from the Canada booth for food and wine. How is your steak? Good. Is it better than the fish? Definitely. <laughs> Actually, how I like it, it's medium to well done. It's really tender. We just spotted some ducks at Epcot. I love the Epcot ducks. Oh, they're so cute. It's nearly seven o'clock, so I'm gonna try to ride Figment before it closes at seven. It closes two hours before the rest of the park. By the way, they have a book here and I have signed the book. So I'm pretty special, what can I say? Yes, ride uh, so much. Just finished riding Figment. I get so happy riding that ride. I think I she smile does. all the way through it. She does. I just get so sad because I loved working here so much. Hate to break it to everyone, but I fell for the gift shop trap again. I'm gonna get a key ring. Sorry, not sorry. At this point, I don't think it's possible for me to exit the Figment gift shop without buying merch. We are going to ride Nemo now. Ready to go under the sea to Australia. Oh, don't worry. Just keep your eyes open for them along the way. Nemo! Come out, come out. Oh, let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore the big blue world. We just 
finished Nemo and we're now in the aquarium area of the seas. I will be doing a dolphin thing in a couple of days time so I'm really excited so stay tuned for more footage on this area. So that's it for our Epcot day. This is mom's last day yep. with me. Did I'll be you have on a, a good plane time? tomorrow. Aww. Yes, I had a lovely time. I think that my favourite part was the new skyliner. Oh, the skyliner is yep. pretty great. That was really good and going on frozen I think four times. Yes, and it's it still not enough. Oh, and I seeing know. Sky's old attraction. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to Universal seeing Harry Potter. Should be a lot of fun. So see you then. Bye. Bye.